Now we'll take a look at how Eugene O'Neill develops the character of Josie Hogan in the script. Here we have a bunch of different women who have all played the character of Josie, and you can see how different these uh, women are, right? Um, O'Neill describes Josie as a woman who has Ireland across her face, and she's supposed to be younger, uh, although that's not something that all of these interpretations have taken at face value. So you can see Audra McDonald, which is not what we would think of at all. She's an African-American woman. Colleen Dewhurst, who is the woman that you'll watch in the 1973 version. Uh, Elise Hudson, who is younger, about the age that we think uh, O'Neill planned for her to be. Cherry Jones, who's also in her 40s when she played the role. Um, Well-known Broadway actress. You might have seen her in the film version of Doubt. Uh, Kim Martin Cotton, who looks, I think, uh, stereotypically Irish with the red hair, uh, and Eve Best, who won quite a few awards for this. So all of these women have all played Josie, uh, and they've taken the text and they've embodied her. But what they do with her is different. And let's take a little bit more time to examine how. So how do we know who Josie is? And we being the audience, the reader, the actor, how do we know what, they, what, what really makes the character? There's a couple things we can can look at. What they say about themselves. So what a character is saying about themselves tells us a lot about who they are. As does what other people say about them, because they might be a liar, but that still tells us a lot about who they are. How they interact with other characters. So are they kind? Are they gruff? Are they mean? Are they manipulative? All of these different things are their actions, and they use words to suit the action but it's the how they do it that really tells us who they are. And finally, what they do on stage, their actual physical movements, which are described in the scene directions, uh, tell us a lot about who they are, how they walk, uh, how they touch other characters on stage, if they touch other characters on stage, their body language, all tells us who the character is. Now let's look at Josie's actions in Act One. Josie helps her brother and gives him enough money to get on his way off the farm. Josie initially threatens her father, but ultimately appeases him. Josie and her father work together to give Stedman Harder a difficult time, and Josie agrees to go on a date with Jim Tyrone. She says a lot of gruff things, but ultimately what she does is incredibly kind to the people she cares about. So that tells us a couple things about who she is. She has a gruff exterior, but she's ultimately a pretty kind uh, and accepting person. Then let's look at Josie's description and how other people talk about her. So, O'Neill says Josie is 28. He also says she is so oversized for a woman that she is almost a freak, 5 feet 11 in her stockings and weighs around 180. There is no mannish quality about her. She is all woman. The map of Ireland is stamped on her face. This gives us a pretty distinct idea of what that body type looks like, but if you think back to all those images we just looked at of all of the women who have played Josie, not all of them match O'Neill's description. But then there's what the other characters say. So Mike on Josie. You're two of a kind and a bad kind. You've a tongue as dirty as the old man's. So he implies, her brother implies that she is not virtuous. He buys into everything Josie says about herself. And Josie, on her reputation, says, I'm the scandal of the countryside, carrying on with me without a marriage license. And she describes herself often as ugly. Uh, so she doesn't think of herself as a beautiful person. And yet her inside, her actions, tell us the opposite of that. And so we have this contradiction, because in realism, these characters are often incredibly complex. Now, Jim Tyrone, who feels a different way than Mike does about... Uh, Josie says she is strong and kind and warm like you. And he's describing someone else, but uh, it is a parallel, a metaphor for who uh, Josie is. And so you have these two different descriptions. Which one is true? Well, her actions tell us more about that than uh, just what the words tell us. So let's look at how she talks, because as I said before, speaking is an action. Does the character tell the truth or lie? Why do they make that choice? The why is so important. What do they want and how do they get it? Because the why is also often about what characters want. Theater and drama is always about conflict. 
And that means that somebody wants something that the other person isn't getting. And these characters create the conflict. So what do they want and how do they get it? Let's look at how Josie takes a compliment in Act 1. So this is right after Tyrone comes on stage, and Josie and Tyrone have been trading barbs, Josie being a little harsher than Tyrone was willing for. Uh, and Tyrone says, Anyway, who told you I fall for dainty dolls? That's a thing of the past. I like them tall and strong and voluptuous, now with beautiful big breasts. Josie blushes and looks confused and is furious with herself for doing so. Her father says, thank you, there you are, Josie, darling. Sure, he couldn't speak fairer than that. And Josie, recovering herself, says he couldn't indeed. And then to Tyrone, she denies the compliment by saying, you're a terrible blarneying liar, Jim, but thank you just the same. So what do we learn from Josie from this, right? She doesn't think she's beautiful. She cannot take a compliment. Uh, she's been raised harsh and lacks a certain amount of confidence when it comes to having actual intimate emotions, but uh, is willing to put on bravado quite a lot of the time to stave off uh, having to actually be intimate with someone. And this tells us a lot about who Josie is, right? I'm sure we all know somebody who is bad at taking a compliment. Um, <clears throat> or uh, I, I'm, it brings to mind uh, that One Direction th song, She Doesn't Know She's Beautiful, uh, because Josie does not see herself that way, but Tyrone sees her that way. And we learn something really important about their relationship as well in this text and the actions that they have within the text. So the big questions about Josie's character is, is she as she says she is? Is she the whore of the county when she confesses that she isn't? Is she lying to Jim then or was she lying to Jim before, right? Uh, we don't know because she's not totally truthful all the time. Does Jim only see her the way that he wants to see her? Has he decided that she is a virgin and so she actually is? Does she confess because she is actually a virgin, or has she been pretending to save her own feelings, or is her confession a lie to save Jim's feelings? All of these are questions of interpretation. Her actions are ultimately loving and kind. Her words aren't always that way. And so we learn a lot about the contradictions of her character from what she says and what she does. But ultimately, this is all up for interpretation, right? The lines are set but the interpretation is up to the production. Last week, you commented about an example from Fences, where we saw Denzel Washington and James Earl Jones interpret the same text. Ultimately, both of those interpretations want the same thing. How they went about it was slightly different. Likely, it was also different from how you read it. Each actress that takes on the role of Josie Hogan is going to ultimately also make uh, choices about who she is and whether she's telling the truth and how she gets what she wants. Is what she wants to be loved? Is what she wants to be in an intimate relationship? Is what she wants something else entirely? Uh, the actor gets to make that choice if it's not explicit in the text. And that will shift the character a little bit, but what they say is always going to be in the script and remain the same. And so there's elements of the character that will always be the same and elements that are open for interpretation. And that's how character uh, gets created on stage.